Welcome to CNC Learn and Build. I'm Randy Johnson. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to use the Shark RS1000 Pro CNC router table to cut a variety of joints using the built-in apps. The RS1000 Pro comes with over a dozen joinery apps, and you can find links to all of them in the description below this video. It's also worth pointing out that all of the apps use the same basic nine steps. And I'll cover each of them in detail. But I think you'll find once you become familiar with them that operating the RS1000 Pro is pretty straightforward. In this video, I'll show you how to run the Test Dovetail app on the RS1000 Pro. The Test Dovetail app is used before running the half glide or through dovetail apps. It provides a way to verify the fit of your dovetail joint before cutting your final material. I've already installed the bit and calibrated both the bit and the fence, so I can go straight to the dovetail test app at this time. When you open the dovetail test app, you'll see it has a list of parameters that need to be set up, just like the other apps. I start by verifying the bit diameter and then enter the bit angle, which is 14 degrees for the bit I'm using. Next, I set up the tail depth. This should be the same as you want for your final project. Next, set the tail spacing. Notice how it recommends a spacing of 0.813. This is a good place to start when using a bit for the first time. If the test joint proves too tight or loose, I can return to this setting and fine tune the fit by adjusting the spacing up or down a small amount. The app is now set up and ready to run. For the dovetail test app, both boards need to be run end down and perpendicular to the fence. For this setup, I'm using the optional sliding miter fence accessory, but a shop made table sled will also work. I've also added sandpaper to the fence to keep the board from slipping while routing. Clicking through the next few screens automatically positions the fence and the bit for the first cut. Make this cut on both boards. With the first cut complete, advance the fence for cut number two. Checking the fit shows that the spacing is too loose. So to tighten the fit, I go back into the app and increase the spacing a small amount and rerun the cut on the other ends of the board. However, before rerunning the board, I like to mark the first test cuts so I don't mix them up with the new one. Checking the fit shows that the spacing is too loose. So to tighten the fit, I go back into This fit looks good, and I can now use these settings with the other dovetail app. I also like to record my settings for future use. Although it's still a good idea to run a new set of test blocks with each new project since different woods sometimes route slightly differently. For videos on other RS-1000 joinery apps, check out the links in the description below this video.